All right, so I'm making this video because I was doing some perspective drawings and some things occurred to me that probably should have occurred to me earlier, but didn't. And uh, I apologize if this is kind of straightforward and if you've already done this, then good on you. But for all, for all those that do not know how to mirror or uh, replicate things into perspective uh, hopefully this will help you out um, I I don't know that I've ever seen this in any other tutorial videos at least not explicitly so I wanted to take the time to make this video to hopefully help other people out uh, who might be having trouble with it as well so to start let's just get the right pen okay so this is based on the principle that you can get the center of any rectangular plane just by making an X for a line. Why did that do that? That was weird. making a line from corner to corner, and now this is the center. I'm just gonna turn down that red because that's that was brutal. All right, so uh, now that we have the center, um, say that we wanted to put some kind of design. I'll just change the color up real quick. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do a nice green, but we're gonna have to darken it. All right, so say that we wanted to do um, we're going to keep this really simple. So say that we wanted to do a, a bench like this. And we wanted to repeat it this way, right? Um, so if you will just excuse the fact that I um, didn't really leave any legroom here, but this is just for uh, our purposes here. So. First of all, in case you don't know, I guess I'll go over the the mirroring principles of um, how to mirror a box. So to start, we have the center here. And you'll notice that I'm not doing this in perspective because I, I want to get the principles out of the way before we even tackle perspective. So uh, we found the center, and now you're just going to want to find the center of the side that you want to project this through. So um, once you've done that, then you go to the opposite corner and well, I should be using the line tool. I don't know why I'm not. And of course, make sure that this is on pixels instead of path or shape for this. Uh, and our size is seven pixels, that should be good. All right, so you wanna carry this down through your, uh, through the point where the, through the center of that side, like so. And we'll just continue these edges out. And so where this crosses, this bottom line, that will be the other edge. And now we have two symmetrical uh, rectangles, two rectangles of the same size and same proportion and everything. All right, so once we've done that, then we can go in and make the center of this. And as you can see, if we continue this over, holding the shift, we got the exact center. Yay, we did it right. And I didn't mess anything up. Huzzah. All right, so once we have that, now it's how do we uh, how do we replicate this green line? Well, because this x is the same, then obviously, or maybe not so obviously, um, the where this green line crosses this red x is going to be the same no matter where you are, right? So we just carry this over. I'm going to use uh, this purple for this, if 
Oops. Uh, and then we're gonna do the same thing here. Though, obviously for this line, you could just draw it across, obviously, right? And then the same thing over here, where this line crosses. And you gotta make sure that you go to the right one. I almost went to the wrong line, because we're obviously on this line, on this line, gotcha. Got it, good, all right. And now, all we do is, whoa, why did that, all right. We follow that up, follow this over, we're gonna eyeball this for now, and then, And now, if I were to if I were to move this, it lines up. Well, pretty close, right? Closer than if I were to eyeball it. Um, though, hopefully, you'll be doing this much more. Uh, accurately than I did. And yeah, you know, I don't, uh, just to show you how I would do this in perspective, uh, let's, let's get rid of this real quick and just group that up so it's easier to hide and show later. And then back to our line tool and say that you know what, let's, let's do this right. Let's put a horizon down here. We'll make this a little bit smaller. We'll go horizon. That's not blue like I wanted. So horizon. And then we're gonna do a plane that's going back into space, like so, right? You know what, let's, let's actually use some colored guides here for clarity's sake. All right, so doing that, and then we're gonna make a rectangle here. All right, so now we have to find, how do we replicate this rectangle into space? Well. I just showed you how to do that, so let's let's see. Let's see if I can do it without messing it up, shall we? Let's do so this corner to this corner. First so first we have to find the center. So we go that corner to that corner, that corner to that corner. And now for our midline, let's let's use um, let's use this teal color. And this goes to the vanishing point. And now we found the side the middle of this side, right? So then we're gonna change to this kind of gross yellow. And we're gonna see where uh, the other side of the rectangle will be in space. So we go from here through that center point and then through that guide. And now we have the other side of the rectangle. And then we're gonna uh, make our, find our center point again. And then um, we're gonna, we're gonna do that, that chair thing again, just for illustrative purposes. So here's, here's where it kind of gets, um, I don't wanna say tricky, but, um, something that you have to get used to. Now normally I use Manga Studio for this, so they, uh, that program kind of handles this for me, but um, to do it this way, let's, to keep it in perspective, um, you can do this, um, you can use this for things that are not in perspective too, but that's like, that's more advanced. I wanted to just do this as the, the most simplified version that I could think of. 
and quickly because uh, I, I just wanted to get this out of my head so I can continue on with my, my other projects. So we want to replicate this. So now we're gonna we're gonna go get that purple, and now we're going to um, oh, we gotta use our guides again. Again, not used to using these guides. So and that did not that eyedropper did not quite work for that. Okay, so we're going there and here. Because we're, we're trying to find the place where this line crosses our um, our X, our center point X, right? And then we project that through. And then we go ahead and grab this green again. And now this line is the same as this line here, right? And then we have this line. Like so, and this one goes back, and now we've replicated our uh, our shape into space, right? Simple as that. So, hopefully, that was somewhat coherent. Um, I didn't really have like a plan for this video. I just kind of was winging it because uh, I have a bunch of deadlines that I need to get done before Christmas. But um, this is something that I definitely wanted to share with everybody because. It, it like totally changed my way of thinking in perspective. And I, I feel like it was like the next, uh, like I broke through to the next area, the next level um, when I learned this. And uh, I, I always want to share that kind of information with everybody because uh, I wish that it was shared with me, obviously. All right, well, uh, keep on drawing. Talk to you later.